people need an income that's guaranteed to them. If you lose money to taxes, you're never getting that money back. You need to get serious about adding some lower risk. Greed. I don't like greed. The thing to be afraid of, honestly, is the thing that we're not thinking of, the black swan event. There's a tsunami coming. Bye, bye, bye. Welcome to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers. Just coffee talk. There's a lot of noise, a lot of chatter. Who do you listen to? Who do you not listen to? You have to stay focused. A fun and informative look at the issues of wealth, retirement, and protecting your life savings. These advisors out there that were trained to sell, 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 and have all these fees, 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 they don't want to talk, talk, talk about this product because <laughs> they make less, less, less money. <laughs> and now, Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers. Hello again and welcome to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online you can find us, ZinniaWealth.com, as always, Z-I-N-N-I-A, Wealth.com, and we hope that you do. We're here because we know there's a lot of you out there that are either retired or you're getting ready for retirement, and there's sure a lot of questions out there. So we hope that we answer some of those questions on this show. And if you don't have a financial professional in your life right now, well, Sharice is here and can help. Sharice, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm refreshed. I have a nice tan. Oh, spring break. <laughs> okay. What's yes. going on? What did you do with the kiddos? So I took the kids to the beach, mm -hmm. one of my most favorite beaches, but I'm not going to announce it because if I do, then all of a sudden it won't be my favorite beach, <laughs> but it's somewhere close to St. Augustine. I'll okay. give you that all right. nugget. It was fun. I did things I hadn't done before. My son's like, let's go fishing. So we went to this little shack that had one of those pipe poles you put it in the sand i had no idea what i was doing i asked the lady got a little toolbox i got a fishing pole and she's you know there there's different baits that you use yeah. and then she showed me how to you know bait it yada yada so i got all this stuff it was a nice weekend but it was cold in the afternoons when it was windy well what happened we sat there for two hours and i'm like shivering freezing cold we didn't catch one fish oh, no. but you know what we know what we're doing. I think we went out at the wrong time. So I learned that. Yeah. And my son was tickle pink that his mom was out there fishing all by himself with him. Like he had his quality time. So I think we started, you know, building some good memories there. Cause we're going to do that probably every time we go to the beach. And then my daughter, my daughter, who's a little firecracker is like, mom, we're going to go surfing. And even though the water's 50 degrees, we're getting in. <laughs> So she's always betting me, you're not going to get in and yada. And so, of course, I get in of and course. it's freezing. And then the next day she does it again. We're going to go surfing. And then there was wetsuits in the Airbnb we rented. I was like, oh, wetsuits. Thank goodness we put it on. And getting in the water, it was still really cold. I still couldn't be in. I couldn't stay in the water longer than a half hour. So we did get out there. We did some boogie boarding. We went out deep to try to catch some waves. And I will tell you, my daughter's like, mom, you're so awesome. Like, I don't know too many moms to get on this freezing water and surf on boogie board. And it was really cool. So it was a, it was a fun spring break with a lot of memories. And my, my new thing is the beach thing. It's quick and easy. I don't know why we all pay all this money to go to the Bahamas or Caribbean. We've got the most beautiful beaches here in Florida and it's more affordable here. So it's my new thing. Well, I want to see the pictures of you and your blue lips. <laughs> Purple they were. Okay. Gotcha. It was nice. All right. Well, well, you know what? This is that time of year when we start thinking about summer vacations and things like that. And there's a vacation that's ahead for you somewhere down the line, which is going to last 20, 25, 30 years. And that's called retirement. And that's why we are here to talk through some of that. And uh, as you go into retirement, you'll have to make some decisions as to what you want to do in retirement. And some people would like to work. And that's where we're actually going to start today. This is an interesting study. Pew Research every year does a study on the American workforce. This time around, they found this. In the mid-80s, when they did this survey, they asked, how many of you are over the age of 65 and are working? And at that point, in the mid-80s, about 11%. Today, that number is 19%. People over the age of 75 are the fastest growing people in the workforce. Now, when I looked at that, I, I thought that was a little bit disturbing, Sharice. And you're a retirement planner, so yeah. you're trying to get people retired so they don't have to work. So what do you think of something like this? Is, is something right? Is something wrong? What do you see here? Well, when I, I hear this, I, I think of the, the psychology of it all. Because back in the 90s, Baby boomers today, they were like 27, 29 years old. So maybe they were 28 years old. And so during this booming 
20 year growth period from 1980s to 2000, mm -hmm. the Dow Jones grew over a thousand percent. So financial conventional wisdom, don't sell, keep buying, hold, even the market goes down. That was the mentality for 20 years. So they're 28 then. Fast forward 20 years later in 2000, now they're 48. They're getting closer to retire in five to 10 years. And what happened from 2000 to 2010? Well, we had yeah. two major pullbacks. That's the tech bubble. It was awful. And then it took them five years to get back to even. All the while, they're thinking, okay, we're going to retire now. This is, what, seven, eight years later, and they're 55. And then the 2008 crashes, that's an 18-month decline where the S&P dropped 51%. And then it took four to five years to get back to even by 2013 and 2014. So now we're in our 60s, right? Yeah. So now they're back to even, they're in their 60s, they know they need to retire, but they're nervous. The psychology and the, uh, the emotion of it tells them, no, I, I don't think we're ready. I'm not sure we saved enough. I feel like we had to save more in case we lose more money. And so over time, if you go all the way back to 2009, we haven't had a crash since then. So, the, so now the psychology of it all is saying, well, it's coming. Well, it's coming. Do I, do I want to be retired when it's coming? Maybe I need to keep working. So we feel like we have to keep working because of the psychology of it. Got it. And it's an emotional decision. So we are seeing more people that are waiting longer and longer to retire. And that is why when we do our radio shows, we talk about let's retire now. How can we retire now? Can you retire now? I do not want people retiring at age 75. That is absurd. There is a way to retire earlier. And this is our specialty, income planning, written income plans. Don't let the stock market dictate your next move. Because what if you retired at 75? Well, let's say you've been retired at 70, but then you only live for a couple more years because COVID pops up, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't, you're not living out those golden years, what you saved all these years to do. Just know that here at Zinnia Wealth, all of us here are trained in income planning. And it's not just about portfolios and the best stock to pick. It's about all the risks that could derail your retirement. And those are market risk. Those are advisor fees. Those are taxes and long-term care. So we're going to assess your portfolio. We're going to see if you've got those covered. If not, we're going to show you some ways to make sure that you have those protections built in. And then we're going to also provide that written income plan that shows you if you can retire now, or if you have to wait a year or two, or it's probably going to say, Hey, you could have retired five years ago. Mm, you know, we did a story not that long ago that came out of the wall street journal and it followed a number of people in retirement. And these were people that had saved between one and $2 million. And they were afraid to walk away from their paycheck. You talk about the psychology of money, the psychology of walking away from your paycheck, from that employer paycheck that you have leaned on for the last 40 years it is uncomfortable. And Sharice, you talk about let's do the math until you can actually see it in front of you on paper or on a computer screen that says, you know what, you can make more in retirement than you did while you were working, or we're going to replace that paycheck for you. And you're going to continue on. The only difference is you're not working anymore, but the money's coming in. That's what everybody wants to see. And I think that's the fear that we see here. You can work in retirement if you want to, but we don't want you to work in retirement because because you have to. And isn't that the key here? That is definitely the key because eventually you're going to be forced to retire. The employers are like, okay, time to go. Yep. And hopefully you have that plan in place. Mm -hmm. And by 75, it's hard to keep a job at age 75, let alone 70 or let alone 65. If you're like one of the higher paying jobs at the firm, right? So let's plan in case those mishaps happen. Maybe it's a healthcare issue. You, you can't work anymore. Or maybe your spouse has a healthcare issue and you have to retire and, or maybe they just let you go way earlier than ever intended. So this is why get ahead of the game plan now. And you might actually find out by coming and seeing us here at Zenia Wealth that you can retire on the income that you are needing and thriving on for the rest of your life so much earlier. Yeah, I think that one of the things that if, if you could take a look, you know, if you're still working right now, take a look at your paycheck, look at your take home pay, and then bring that number into Sharice and say, Sharice, this is what I'm getting every two weeks. Can we replace that? We'll take that challenge at Zinnia Wealth. Give us a call and we'll go through it with you. 
833-368-3680 is our number. 833-368-3680. Or if you go to our website, this is really easy, zinniawealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A, wealth.com. There's a gold box there. It says complimentary retirement consultation. If you click on that, we'll ask you to put in a little information there. And our team will reach out to you. We'll get the conversation going. Again, zinniawealth.com. All right, so the market is up right now. It's It goes back and forth a little bit, but it's pretty high right now. Your 401k is probably looking pretty good. And every time we have one of these going on, I always see the story, look at all the 401k millionaires out there. Mm-hmm. It always happens. So now the question is, what do we do? Do we leave that 401k and let it roll along with the market, or do we do something with it? Well, this is T. Rowe Price's Roger Young, and he's talking to the people at Morningstar, And he says, looking at rolling some of that money from your 401k or IRA into a Roth should be one of your considerations. Broadly speaking, an IRA gives you more investment choices. It typically also gives you more control over how you take distributions. So you have a lot more freedom typically with an IRA. On the flip side, with a 401k at at a large organization, your investment fees might be lower. There might be some other reasons to keep money there. So it depends on your situation. It depends on the specifics of your work plan. And I'd also add, you know, your personal preferences play a role, too. So there are reasons, as he has cited, to leave the money in the 401k or the IRA. Sharice, what would be some of the reasons to move money out of that 401k or Roth IRA and even do a conversion over to a Roth? A lot of people are coming into our office, Randy, saying, why isn't my 401k keeping up with the stock market? Mm -hmm. Do I have a lot of fees? Am I in the wrong funds? I have maybe five years till I retire and they're concerned. And the reason is, is that in the 401k, you have a small menu of options. Mm -hmm. Plus what you'll find out over time is that you have higher fees and you actually realize this is why we do that 401k x-ray. I will say that when you are working, you are not the investment pro, the financial planner. You are working and you're working in your job. This is why you come to a financial advisory team to help you figure out what is the best strategy. Do you know, Randy, that there are funds in a 401k that people are in today that people should not be in mm-hmm. because they're not keeping up with the stock market? Or some of them are target retirement date funds, and those target retirement date funds aren't keeping up with the stock market and are actually some of the worst funds you could be invested in. Hmm. And those are the choices our employer gives us. And very limited. Some people have only 10 options. Some people might have 30 options. What people should be doing is they should be coming in for that 401k x-ray. We can find out. If you're in the right funds, we're not even going to manage your accounts. We're going to give you the advice on the direction of what you should be invested in for the next five years or 10 years before you retire. On top of that, if you have the opportunity to roll those 401ks to an IRA, you're going to be going from an average of 30 choices in that 401k to 30,000 choices when you're working with an advisory team. When you have that many choices, sky's the limit. Your fees can come down. You can make more money. If you want more safe money built in, there's safe money strategies that are well endowed versus what you're using those target retirement date funds. And I will say this, when you are investing, we're not looking for the jiggliest thing you have, right? Depending on the season of life that you are in. If you're young, we can have the jiggliest thing in the stock market and be at high risk. But when you're near retirement, that retirement zone, that five years before retire, that's the time to look at alternatives. And unfortunately, the 401k does not have those alternatives. And we want to show you if you can move those to an IRA, what are your options? And on average, we'll save at least a half a percent in fees by moving a 401k to an IRA if you're allowed. And if not, if you cannot move those accounts over, we'll at least show you some better options inside that 401k by using our 401k x-ray. So there's three kinds of money we've talked about in the past. There's taxable money, there's tax-free money, and there's tax-deferred money. And that's where the category that we're talking about here is tax-deferred money. You have not paid taxes yet on your 401k or your IRA. That comes later when you start taking that money out. 
So, Sharice, is it okay or should it be that we have all three kinds of money in our retirement years, that we can have some tax-deferred money, and that's okay? Should we get it all out of the tax wash all at once, systematically? How do you make that decision? Right. So not only are you limited in a 401k, if and when you can roll it over to an IRA, we can now really focus on the tax strategy. And we could start rolling some of our IRAs to a Roth IRA. Right now, tax diversification is one of the key things we need to implement in the retirement plan because eventually your money is going to double and that doubler just means a double tax bill for you in the long run. So it gives us some opportunities to slowly roll our IRAs over to a Roth. Even if you're under 59 and a half, a lot of people say, oh, we can't do it until you're 59 and a half. That's not true. If you're doing a direct rollover to a Roth from an IRA, you can absolutely roll those dollars over and there is no penalty, but we really need to get it into the IRA first. Most of us have most of our money in a 401k or an IRA because that's where they gave us to place it. We don't have pensions much anymore, so they gave us this thing called a 401k. Now we're going to use it, and now we find it's full of taxes. Well, how do we get around that? Well, it's going to take some planning. It's going to take some work, and that is what it is to have a retirement plan, an investment plan, an income plan, a tax plan at Zinnia Wealth. Give us a look online. Let's talk through it. And if most of your money is in a 401k, let's not let you uh, run into that tax time bomb that we talk about in your 70s. Give us a call. Give us a look on our website, ZinniaWealth.com. Hit the gold box that says complimentary retirement consultation. Or you can give us a call and we'll talk through it there. 833-368-3680. Again, 833-368-3680. A free meeting to sit down and talk through you, your 401k. We'll give you that 401k x-ray for free. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, if you were to have to take a test about Social Security, 13 questions, true or false, how do you think you'd do? Well, that was done. And the results did not come back too good. We'll talk about it coming up next on Retirement Coffee Talk. Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, you can find us at ZinniaWealth.com. While you're there, tool around a little bit. Find out more about Sharice and Zinnia Wealth. We have a lot of great resources for you on our website. If you go to the media tab, you can hear our podcast. You can hear lots of interviews. All of that is right there. If you want to hear past shows, it's all there for you. There's also an education tab. It says useful guides. There's all sorts of things there you can download about Social Security and pensions and 401ks and women in investing, all sorts of different things that you can use as a resource right there. It's all on our website at zinniawealth.com. All right, the people at Mass Mutual did a study and a poll and a test, actually, about Social Security. Put a bunch of people in a room and said, okay, 13 true-false questions about Social Security. Here we go. How did they do? 78% of people Near retirees got a D or an F mm -hmm. in the Social Security test. Not surprised. Okay, so I wanted to ask you, when people come in to see you, this is a part of the income conversation. That's income coming in. Do people know a lot about Social Security, or is it a, a big education curve that we've got to talk through? Social Security is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares. They just want their check and I want it now. Give it to me now. Got right. It, That's what we it. think. My, my grandpa, my dad, they took it at 62. So by golly, I'm going to take it at 62 because that was surely the right practice. Right. And so you pay into your FICA taxes. This is how we get our social security checks in the future. And all you know is that one day you're going to get your money hopefully, right? Mm -hmm. And um, depending on how much debt our government goes into. No, I do feel like we're or solvent enough to get through the next 30 years. But I will say there are strategies when it comes to claiming your Social Security. You know, if you claim Social Security at age 62, you're taking a penalty to do that. You're not getting 100% of the benefit that you worked the last 30 to 40 years. So what? put that in numbers for me. So for say, for instance, you were talking late baby boomers here. If your retirement age is 67 and you went to full retirement age and you were going to get $3,000 a month, if you were to file at 62, how much of a difference would that make? $500 a month? $700 a month? It, like 25% uh, like It'd less. be a pretty big hit, wouldn't it? Yes, okay. it's a huge hit. And so 
you got to really consider, does that make sense? Because if you and your spouse do that, remember when one of you pass away Hmm. of the two social security checks, you get to keep only the largest one. So if if one of you is getting 2,500 and the other one's getting 2000 a month, you get to keep the largest one, whoever's the surviving spouse. But what if one of you waited till full retirement age at 66 or 67 to collect and that 2,500 was now 3,000, for example? Mm -hmm. Well, when that first spouse passes away, you get the higher of the two checks. You're getting that 3,000, so you're getting more. And sometimes that's a valuable reason for one of you to collect at 62 and not get your entire benefit you're entitled to. And one of you wait to collect age 67 for full retirement age because maybe there isn't a pension later on or maybe if there is a pension only 50 percent passes to your spouse so you want to make sure you're not leaving your spouses financially destitute if you pass away so there has to be some thinking and some planning involved when it comes to claiming social security it's just not hey i contributed to fica i get what i'm owed remember if we're married we're we're trying to protect the spouse that's still in the house Mm -hmm. later on and it's really dependent on what you also saved and what's still going to be sitting there if you've passed away or if we go through long-term care we spend our assets down so we have to look at all those hazards before we claim because when you go to social security they are not allowed to give you advice i don't know if you know that randy but they are not legally allowed to give you advice. So therefore, you're not going to get the advice you need. Therefore, this is why you come into Zinnia Wealth Management yeah. and work with one of the advisors because we will advise you on the best strategy. Whether you take it or not is up to you, right? And then on top of that, what if you're still working? You're like, I love my job, Sharice. I'm pulling in 50 or 80 grand a year and I don't want to stop what I'm doing. And maybe you're 67. Well, maybe you don't collect your social security till a little bit later because you might say, I'm going to retire at 69. Well, do you know from full retirement age, that's around 66 and 67, all the way to age 70, you get delayed retirement credits about 8% every year. You are getting extra compounding bonuses by delaying taking social security. So that could be also another reason to delay taking social security to 68 or 69 But by 70, you cannot delay anymore. You have to take it, right? Well, that's the deal. You have the options. You can take it early. You can take it late. You can take it at your full retirement age. As you were talking about this, Sharice, I read an article this week, and I know you kind of like Susie Orman. And Susie Orman put a thing out this week about five Social Security facts that take the fear out of all of these headlines. And just a couple of them. She says, look. Social Security is not going to run out of money. As long as there's paychecks, there's money coming out, it'll be funded. It may go down. The benefit may go down. But 75% is better than nothing, she says. She also says if they raise the retirement age, it will very likely not affect you right now who is in retirement. We're talking about people who are 40 and 30, and those are the people who are going to probably be affected by this. So mm-hmm. she said, I know that there's some scary stuff out there, but relax. It's still there for you. Let's make the most of it. And that's, I think, what we need to do is have that meeting, Cherise, and say, how can we maximize this money for you, mm-hmm. even if it does go back 25%? Listen, retirement isn't about you know, portfolios and the top stock that you can put in your portfolio. It's about protecting what you've already built. Mm -hmm. That starts with a social security check. Then it starts with your market risk, then long-term care and taxes and fee management. All this goes into play when creating a retirement plan. And if you are looking for that retirement planner to help you take the guessing work out of what's going to happen in the next 30 years, then we encourage you to come in and get our portfolio x-ray and our written income plans and our tax analysis. Give us a call. Give us a look on our website. ZinniaWealth.com is the website. ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A, Wealth.com. And you'll see the gold box that says complimentary retirement consultation. You can start right there or just reach out to us right now. Write the number down, 833-368-3680. Again, 833-368-3680. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, you remember when the auto workers were on strike, there was something that those auto workers wanted that they didn't want to give up, but they came to a very interesting agreement. It had to do with the 401k and their pay in retirement. Interesting stuff. We'll tell you how you might be able to make use of it coming up next on Retirement Coffee Talk.
Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, find us at ZinniaWealth.com. While you go there, make sure you check out the website where it says events, and you'll see what we call Zinnia U. And these are workshops, basically, where you sit down with a lot of people that are probably in the same boat as you are, probably around the same age, and they all have this in common. They're wondering about how they're going to make it through retirement. They have questions about retirement, and that's what Sharice does. Look at the calendar there. Find one that is convenient for you and uh, give us a call or sign up right there on the website, zinniawealth.com. All right, you remember back when the UAW went on strike last year, John Lawler, the CFO of Ford, was saying, as the people were saying, we want our pensions back. And he was saying, we can't do pensions anymore. That's a plan Mm -hmm. of the past. And so they offered a beefed up 401k match. Instead of 3%, we'll go 5% or something like that. Well, the workers weren't buying it. They said, we need a paycheck when we retire from this place. So in the end, the workers agreed to an annuity option in their 401k that would build their own personal pension. We Wait, love a bad, a bad word. Annuity. They annuity. An yeah, annuity? That, that's what they what? said. Yeah. Wow. We love the idea of a pension, but the 401k just doesn't provide it. So one hmm. of the options that we really do need to look at outside of the pension is an annuity. So Cherise, talk about have, have you seen anybody come in with a 401k that has that annuity option? We've been talking about it probably for two years. I still don't know anybody who's got one. And no, they don't, which is really interesting to me. Because because Ford had amazing pensions. This is why these people mm-hmm. there that they've been there for a long time and they know other people who had a pension sure. and those people had a pension. It was just an annuity. And these people are begging for an annuity. I mean, a pension is just called an annuity. That's mm-hmm. what the lump sum goes into. Right. And it's interesting that they're begging for annuity, but the people who come in and I that see me, they have a 401k. They're like, no, I don't want a stinking annuity. <laughs> <laughs> but the people who know how they work and have seen other people use them correctly, they love them. So sometimes we just don't know what yeah. we don't know. So most 401ks that come in here, I have seen zero annuities. Interesting. If you have a TIAA CREF, that's a different type of annuity. It's actually one of the worst kind of annuities in the country, that TIAA and how it works and how it's illiquid. It's very annoying and it's been a thorn for the last 20 years of my life and most people don't even understand how that annuity works. So when these 401ks start building in these annuities, I'm going to really want to know, how do they work? Do they work anything like that TIAA? I am going to say, I'm going to knock it. You know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to dog it because Mm -hmm. it's an unfortunate event how that TIAA works. So I don't think 401ks even understand how they're going to do it. And if they do do it, I don't even know if they know what the rules are going to be 10 and 20 years from now when you retire. So I would want to really know the data because there's annuities out there that don't have anything to do with 401ks that you can save in that are very flexible, that are very liquid, that can guarantee income streams and or just be a bond replacement. So last year or 2023 was one of the largest years for the largest amount of annuities ever sold in history because they're giving more back to the clients. They have evolved. They have a change. They have changed. They're amazing. And we always said, Hey, let's put it in our portfolio for a little bit. Some clients I did, some clients I did not, but now more than ever, if we don't put the annuity in your portfolio, we are mistaken Yeah. because a 5.7% guaranteed fixed rate is nothing to balk at, right? For five years. Why, why wouldn't that be part of our bond cash management portfolio strategy? I think what happens is people get a bad taste in their mouth, Randy, because of what mom and pops had. And they had one of those immediate annuities. They, they are awful. I really okay. dislike them. I'm one of those people. I agree with you. But they, they're not those ones. There's different kinds of ones. The ones we're talking about are the ones that are not illiquid. They, they have liquidity. They have growth. I'm not talking about two and 3% growth, like the old school ones. I'm talking about, you know, October, November, and December are on average, our clients who are in the S and P 500 index annuity, they made eight to 9% during that time period. That, I mean, hello, that was their bond replacement. And what did bonds do? Uh, not that, right? Yeah, Yeah. So no, the, the nuances and the different kinds don't get stuck in the old school thoughts because it has changed and they're ever evolving and they are a competing asset class to bonds because people don't want their money in bonds and bonds are going to be a tough road to hoe. This is why we talk about retirement target date funds. Those are not good portfolios in 401ks because they're loaded in bonds the closer you get to retirement. So, you know, being educated 
is the most important thing. And I will tell you, when people come in and see us, Randy, we've talked about the 40, 30, 20, 10 portfolio because mm-hmm. it's 60, 40 portfolio is gone. There's no, you should not have a 60, 40 portfolio. You should not. That's old school. And I, I'm going to use the credibility. When I went to, to Yale University and I did my radio interview with a finance professor, they said the 60, 40 portfolio is dead. I've been working with these guys for years now and their story hasn't changed since 2018. And it is true, right? Maybe 10 years from now, Maybe something changes, but with the ever-changing confusion, are interest rates going up? Are they going down? Are they going up? That is stress, and that is not a stress for your retirement, knowing what the heck your bonds are doing if that's what you're pulling income from. That, that is not a plan. That is just an investment that isn't working. It might not work for a while. So you need to spread it out. 60, 40, no go, no more. You guys hearing me? Let's go 40, 30, 20, 10. And maybe 20% goes in annuity. Maybe only 40% goes into equities. Maybe of that 40, 20% goes into dividend stocks. And the other one's growth stocks if you want 40% of your portfolio in risk. The the other 30% can go into an income-producing cash management program. That's our treasuries and CDs and notes, right? So we're, we're talking about income checks. 60% of your money should be providing some sort of guaranteed income and withdrawal strategy. The other 40, if you want it in the stock market and you want it at risk, that's okay because you're going to be able to pull money from that, but not when a market goes down. So annuities, the definition is annuities annuitization and income stream. So in retirement, we are focused on growth, but we're also focused on those income checks and you need at least three to four of them coming at you that aren't going to stop no matter what the stock market does. So don't get stuck in a rut. Don't put your head in the sand and just ignore it because of old school strategies. You need to be educated when you come in and see us. I'll even give you a book to help you get educated because before you even are allowed to go into annuity in the Zinnia Wealth Management Office, you have to read this book and we will quiz you on it because we want to make sure that in the future you understand what you're getting, you understand why we're getting it, et cetera. And that's part of our plan. Well, two points. I think it's very interesting that more annuities were sold last year than any other year in history. And one of the reasons for that is the interest rates went up. And this is one of the financial vehicles that benefits from a higher interest rate. They're paying more now. That's why everybody's jumping in them. And I mean, if I were to say this is the stock that everybody needs to be, everybody would rush to that, right? But if you right. say... Ev- this is what you need to be in for income. And you mentioned an annuity. Everybody goes, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I actually, I heard a story one time. I want to have everything set out there for me on the table so that I know what's available and I can say yes or no. And, and somebody said one time to me, if you were going in for an operation, they're wheeling you in on the gurney and you're, you're in there and you look around and you see the nurses with the masks over their head and all the chrome and everything around there. And the doctor walks in and there's a tray of tools there that he's going to use on you and he walks in and he's got his hands in the air like they always do because they just washed and he's got his rubber gloves on and he looks at right before you're going to go to sleep he looks and says take one third of those tools and get them out of here and the nurse says we might need those tools he goes I don't like those tools get them out of here and yes. then you go wait a minute and you fall asleep <laughs> so yes, no that's doubt. basically what you're doing you're saying take one third of the tools for my retirement off the table I don't like them because of what they're called. Yeah. It's, you know what? It's what the tool does. It's you know? what the tool does. And you know what? We can fill that horse trough full of water. We can lead the horse to the horse <laughs> trough. That doesn't mean the horse has got to drink, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if he doesn't drink, what's going to happen? Things are going to get derailed. Mm-hmm. And we don't want that to happen to you in your retirement. Let's look at all the tools. At least be open to talking about what's out there. You get the yes or no. Of course, it's your retirement. Let's look at everything that's available to make it right. Give us a call. Give us a look at our website, ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A Wealth.com, or 833-368-3680. All right. If I were to ask you, we talk about markets, and you know, right now we're riding pretty high, and we talked earlier in the show about how there's a lot of fear out there that we're going to go the other direction. And those of us baby boomers have gone through it, just like Cherise outlined. We've gone through 1987. We've gone through 2000. We've gone through 2008. We've gone through 2022. We've gone through a lot of it, haven't we? We've seen the market go up and down. How long does it take to recover from a market decline, say, of 10 to 20 percent? Some people might say, wow, it takes years. Well, actually, it only takes about four months 
to make it back from a 10 or 20 percent decline. So that's what your stockbroker would say. Hang in there. It'll come back. Here's what they don't tell you. The recovery time from 2008 was four years. The recovery time from the dot-com bust of 2000 was 15 years. Clawing your way back from underwater is the real enemy here. And Sharice, how do we stop that problem before it starts? Well, we listen to Warren Buffett every once in a while and we follow his rules. And his first rule is don't lose money Mm -hmm. on all of your money. Hey, that's an add-on quote. <laughs> a little Sharice-ism there. <laughs> uh-huh. And then the number two rule is follow rule number one. Okay. So when we are younger in a different season of life, we can have all of our money in equities. I want all your money in equities. This is your time to shine. This is the time you can recover. This is time to make bad, silly decisions. But financial conventional wisdom actually works. But when we're nearing retirement or in retirement, we can't do that anymore. We have to carve out different parts of our portfolio to have some consistency, to have some leverage when the market goes down because we can't live on the money when the market goes down. So there better be leverage somewhere else and bonds are not leveraged. So we have to look at other alternatives because what are you going to live on if your stock market money goes down for 33 months and it takes five years to get back to even? You better not be living on the money in the stock market. There has to be something carved out of your portfolio that you can live on while that financial conventional wisdom of eight years has wasted your time on those dollars. But there's got to be something else because this is the biggest fear in retirement and that's running out of money. And the reason is, is because people had a 60, 40 mm-hmm. old school portfolio mm-hmm. and those accounts went down. Bonds went down an average of 23%. Equities went down an average of 50%. And when they went down for at least two years, it took four years to recover. Yeah, You can't touch those dollars. So what are you going to live on? So we're in a different season of life. We're not in a growth phase. We're in a I'm going to live on my income phase. So this is the psychology of retirement, the psychology of money. We get emotional when markets go down. We make horrible decisions and then we just need our money. Dang it. And we pull it and we put it under the mattress. And that was the worst thing we could have done. Let's not ever get there. Let's control our psyche. Let's control the psychology of retirement because it's going to change. And we're just here to educate you and show you here are the hazards. Here's how we solve those hazards because they're coming, whether it's Mm -hmm. um, taxes, whether it's uh, inflation, whether it's long-term care, whether it's market risk, you name it. There's a solution to those things, but we can't put all of our eggs in one basket. And that's the first thing you have to understand. Well, we don't want you in retirement walking the halls at night or sitting in front of Fox Business or CNBC and all the color is out of your face because your market is going down a thousand points and you're losing money hand over fist. What we want is for you to be on vacation in Italy. You look at your phone and you go, oh, look, the market went down a thousand points. Eh, Charisse has got me. Let's have some nice that's coffee. Right. You know, that's what we want. We don't want you traveling around and, and worried about your money. We want you to know that the paychecks are coming in. You're going to be fine because you're not connected and your retirement is not connected 100 percent to that market. And that takes some planning. It's called risk management. And it's certainly something that we're going to talk about as we sit down and have our complimentary retirement consultation. We do that for you at no charge. If the market worries you, this is a sign that you're probably too invested in the market. Let's pull back some of that risk. Sharice can show you how to do it. Give us a call. Give us a look on our website, ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A Wealth.com. Gold box there says complimentary retirement consultation. Click on that. You'll be on your way. Or give us a call, 833-368-3680. 833-368-3680. Well, Sharice just quoted Warren Buffett there in one of his most tried and true methods in money. I've got one that I I just found, the 525 rule from Warren Buffett. I've never seen it. (laughs) I wanted to show it to you and get Sharice's take on it. Coming up next on Retirement Coffee Talk. Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, find us at ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A 
wealth.com. Okay, more wisdom from Warren here. He's a fountain of wisdom and information. Mm -hmm. I found a rule that he has that I've never seen before, and it's called his 525 rule. Warren says that if you list out your top 25 financial goals that you hope to achieve, take a look at them, and then narrow it down to five. Then forget about the other 20, because if we achieve the top five, the other 20 will very likely take care of themselves. That sounds exhausting. <laughs> Just reading this, I'm trying to think of 25. I can't like, think of 25. Are there 25? <laughs> I'm not that May smart. <laughs> maybe one of the rules is don't wake up past 525 a.m. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But okay, I, I get the idea, though. If, if you Let's just say it were 10 or it were 8, whatever. If you put down <laughs> your top goals, but then concentrated on the ones that were most important, the other ones would probably take care of themselves. That I can get on board with. And that's really what you do when you do the portfolio x-ray and start to build that financial plan home in on what is most important don't you i think so no i know so but what i'm thinking warren's talking about here is i think it's going to depend on the season of life if you're 30 years old your 25 financial planning ideas are going to be different than when you're okay. 60 right yeah, right right so when you're earlier in their 30s and 40s it's all about growth all about paying off my debt saving for college saving for college yeah. okay i gotta buy a house mm -hmm. i now i gotta put my kids through college like putting all those things in and then picking the top five for maybe for the next five years and as they get older there's another five out of the 25 you got to work on so i like how he's kind of educating people on what you need to do but it is per season of life so so let's focus on the retirement season of life. So the top five to me would be number one, first and foremost, and Warren would back me up, protection first. Mm -hmm. Protect, 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 because we've made our money, right? Why are we going to screw it up and lose it, right? Why, why take a 401k and turn it into a 201k when we need to live on it now? So protection is number one. Number two of the top five of the 25 would be income. Where's your income coming? Is it coming from Social Security? Do you get a pension? If you don't have a pension, do we create a contractual guarantee so we at least have two guarantees of income? Is it coming from dividend stock? Is it coming from structured notes? Is it cash rent? So income. So protections number one, income number two. Number three, we got to have some growth. There's no shadow. Without a doubt, we need growth in the portfolio. But that is number three out of the top five, right? Mm -hmm. This is Zinnia's top three, by the way. Gotcha. I'm sure Warren's top three would be there as well. But growth, not all of our money has to make money. Not all of our money has to make 10, 20%. You know, some of our money can make 3%. Some of our other monies could make 5%. Some of our other monies can make 7%. So we want to split up the growth strategy in the portfolio. Number four, and I'm wondering today, based on all the debt our government has put us in, if it needs to be moved to number one, but I'm going to keep it at number four, and that's taxes and tax planning. I literally sat with a client. They have $4 million right now, literally $4 million. This is a big dollar amount. And it's all in IRAs and 401ks, Randy. Mm -hmm. They want protection, but they didn't think about the tax bill they have in the future. If their money doubles in 15 years, because they want a more conservative portfolio, so you want a riskier portfolio, you want to double every 10 years. But let's just say they're 60. When they're 75, their portfolio doubles from $4 million to $8 million. Hello, talk about the tax crunch, a uh, Mayday button 911 that we have, because if you have to pull 4% from your retirement accounts and you have 4 million, that's $160,000 right now, right? But if you let that money double and now it goes 8 million, that's 320,000 you have to pull out of that portfolio. Wow. You're gonna give half of that back to Uncle Sam anyways. So in the meantime, over the next 10 years, for this person, we are rolling 150 to $200,000 a year for the next 10 years before they have to take their RMDs because we're going to pay 50 to 60 now. So we save 320,000 when they're 75. You see what I'm saying here? Like that, the, when we just went over this plan the other day, they were like all in. It's the first person in a long time. They said, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Let's get that 4 million now over the next 10 to 15 years into a Roth. So now we have half of it in a Roth where you never have to take an RMD. You never have to pay taxes on it. Only half of it is in the IRA. We're looking at the entire picture, not just your portfolio, not just the be best stock picks out there. We're talking about protection, income, growth, and taxes. So that's the number four rule. Number five, 
It's most widely forgotten, but it's one of the number one concerns in everybody's minds. Long-term care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are the top five considerations out of 25 that we can spell out for you. Get the big things right. Protection, income, growth, tax planning, and long-term care. If you get those right, you're probably pretty well taken care of. Let's talk through that and any other concerns you have. We'll do it for you at no charge. Our complimentary retirement consultation is there for you. Give us a call. Set one up. Let's do the math on your retirement. ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A Wealth.com, or 833-368-3680. All right, just going to kind of wrap things up today. Got a football story here, actually, for you, Sharice. Jair Brown is a defensive back for the San Francisco 49ers. Hmm. And he was out trying to buy one of the brand new Tesla trucks. It's called a cyber truck. So he goes to the dealership and they tell him the price for this truck is over $200,000. He <laughs> thought that was kind of high. Well, hmm. apparently it it is a brand new truck and they're they're not readily available so the price is kind of high right now but he calls his financial advisor and he says this doesn't look quite right to me what do you think and the advisor went to the website and found that they're selling them between 60 and 100,000. dollars And he said, "You know what? I don't know what this $200,000 price is, but I think you should walk away." Brown got up and he said, "You know what? I'm going to go with the guy I trust. I'm not doing this deal." I thought that's interesting. He's using his financial advisor in a whole different way. So how many times have you got a call where somebody says, Sharice, this isn't about my retirement plan, but I'm thinking about buying a car or I'm thinking about buying a second house. I'm thinking about buying this or that. What do you think? Talk to me about those kind of stories. This is daily here at City Wealth Management, actually. I'm driving home from work, calling clients, telling them, don't go or go, let's do this. Or, (laughs) oh, no, it's a ripoff. I mean, this is what I do. That's, That's the fun part of what I do, like making sure that they're being protected. Because people are buying cars um, and you could buy cars cheaper somewhere else. And or maybe we need to rethink, do we need that car? But I mean, for example, just the other day, I had a couple come in and they came into an inheritance. They uh, inherited about two million dollars. You know, the first thing out of their mouth was we've already given some money to family to help them out, blah, 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 blah. And like, OK, great. The second thing I heard husband say, I want to buy a plane for three hundred thousand. I'm like, oh, I'm thinking there goes the inheritance. Right. <laughs> and so, OK, so see if we can make that happen. That would be an amazing retirement thing to do. And in the income plan, the goal was over a hundred thousand dollars in income. It had to be over a hundred thousand dollars in income because when you look at the airplane hangar and then all the gas for flying and all the maintenance on the plane, I had to really buff it up and had to buff it up for taxes. So when we built this income plan, I literally, and I hate doing this, but I have to be honest. I said, if you buy this plane, you will run out of money here at age 83 years old. And the wife was like, we're not buying the a plane, plane right. but my husband really deserves it. Right. And so those are the conversations, um, they came in for a third appointment this past week and he came back and he said, you know, we just, we don't like running out of money. We don't want that. So can I buy a plane at all? I said, if you could keep if you could buy a plane for under 200000 and then sell it in 10 years and take that load of fees to have the hangar and the cost and then get, you know, 150000 back from it, then you don't run out of money. They actually, the whole plan changed. They never ran out of money at that point. That's how big a $100,000 purchase can derail your retirement in mm. the future. So by going back and forth, that was a two and a half hour appointment, by the way, I got phone calls. Are you coming home for dinner? <laughs> I was like, not yet. Sorry. We got some solutions we have to solve here. Working on a plane here. <laughs> Working on the plan. But you know what? I felt like I was saving a retirement plan just the other day by doing that. And I felt good doing it. How good is it to have a financial professional, a retirement planner like that on your side, not only to help you with your investments and your protection and your growth and your income and your taxes and your long-term care, but also to bounce those questions off. Hey, I'd like to buy an RV. Hey, I'd like to buy a plane. Hey, I'd like to do this. I'm thinking about a cruise. We could do Caribbean, but what if we did Mediterranean? What if we made it a little bit bigger? Mm -hmm. All of those kind of things are things you can bounce off Sharice if she's on your side. Give us a call and let's put you two together. Here's our number. Here's our website. 833-368-3680. 833-368-3680 or online zinniawealth.com. 
Sharice, that is all the time we have today. I'll give you the last word. Ooh, it's been a lot to unpack today, you guys. Thank you for hanging in with us and tuning in. If you missed the beginning, there was some really good stuff. Go to our podcast, Retirement Coffee Talk, on Apple, Spotify. You can find us on YouTube. And just know, number one goal as we're prepping for retirement is protection. Number two is income. Number three is growth. And number four is taxes. Number five is long-term care. Let's make sure we circle all those and we check them off and we make sure that we do not derail our retirement or run out of money in the future. So again, live by design and not by default. And we'll see you here next week. This has been Retirement Coffee Talk. To find out more about how the strategies we've discussed on this program can build the retirement you've been wanting, call Zinnia Wealth at 352-368-3680 or visit us online at ZinniaWealth.com. Sharice Rivers is an investment advisor representative of Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Sharice Rivers is licensed in your state, please contact their office. Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Any client experiences discussed during this show are unique to that client. They are not meant to imply or suggest you will experience the same results. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Sharice Rivers, NPN Insurance License Number 8718011.